So I'm going to wait and see if anybody joins us. So as you do come in to join me, um, please say hello. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Tell me where you're from. Um, just something so I know that you're here and you're hanging out with me. So today is December 6th, which means, oh my gosh, Christmas is only 19 days away. Now, I don't know if those of you that are watching me are people that get their Christmas things done quickly. I'm not. I have purchased one thing. Hello, Trudy. Nice to see you. Um, I like to bake a lot of things. I've baked nothing so far. However, I did make a list. Hello, Jerry. Good to see you. I did make a list of the uh, items I need from the grocery store, so I can do some baking this weekend. I'm hoping my husband's been kind of whining a little bit. Um, hello, Diana. Yay, I'm glad you caught me live too. So my husband was whining a little bit today saying, oh, are you going to make any Christmas treats? Yes, dear, I'm going to make some Christmas treats. I just haven't done it yet. So, uh, so this weekend will be my baking time. Uh, we did go get our Christmas tree, so that's good. We usually go um, around Thanksgiving. That weekend of Thanksgiving, we go up the mountain in Wyoming. You can get a Christmas tree permit. You can go up the mountain and you can cut your own Christmas tree, which is something we've done since we've lived here. Uh, we moved here in 2001. So hello, Brenda. Hello, Beth. Um, so we go up the mountain every year and get our Christmas tree. And we did do that. Uh, sometimes they look really good. Sometimes they're uh, Charlie Brownish. <laughs> this year, it's definitely a Charlie Brownish tree. But... Um, it's still good and we still love it and it's a Christmas tree and you know we found it ourselves and we take the kids and we this time we went up on four wheelers we should have taken snowmobiles because there was a little more snow than my husband thought there was going to be so uh, we did get stuck a few times <laughs> memories as he always tells us so we did find the tree we got it it's upstairs so yay so I purchased one present. I haven't baked a darn thing. I've made a few Christmas cards because, you know, of course, as a demonstrator, you know, I make cards all the time. So, uh, you know, I may make a card for a class. I make cards for Facebook Live. I make cards for this, that, and everything. And so those I actually do use as my personal Christmas cards. So I have some Christmas cards done. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you're all having a wonderful evening. And please, yes, please share the video um, if you would, please, because that gets you in the drawing for the cards or this, in this, ugh, good Lord, words are hard right now. This week, it's going to be gift card holders. That's what we're going to concentrate on. So um, I did kind of scroll through the comments from last week's video and you guys said that you would like to have uh, gift card holders. So that's what we're going to make this week. So last week, I asked you guys to share the video. Uh, lots of you did. Thank you very much. And so I did do a random drawing and the winner is... Roseanne Gentry. So Roseanne will get all the items that I made last week. So I will go ahead and show you in case there are some of you that weren't here last week and didn't see what we made. We made this fun diorama card uh, with the reindeer bundle and some squares. So it's a cool card. It actually sets on the desk and it's like a window. So that's really cool. We made this box card out of eight and a half by 11 card stock. Normally you'd make it out of 12 by 12, but we improvised and added an extra strip. So we were able to make it out of eight and a half by 11 because some people don't have 12 by 12. And um, so we have that. And then we also made this cute little Santa's toolbox with one of our, um, what do you call these things? Gable boxes. I'm trying to put it together because of course when Roseanne gets it, it's going to be uh, folded up. So here is our... Santa's box. Yay. So Roseanne, congratulations. You've won all that stuff. So uh, Roseanne's actually one of my current customers who actually lives here in Sheridan and she watches me all the time and she does share my video a lot. So congratulations, Roseanne. So anyways, so today we're going to be making gift card holders and somebody uh, who shares the video is going to get the gift card holders and I can't put this back in the bag. So forget that. Oops, it just fell on the floor. Anyway, hello, Kathy. How are you? Long time no see, right? Kathy and I were in uh, Florida together for on stage, and it was very fun, and I miss her. Um, so what else can I tell you? Uh, my daughter has a boyfriend. He doesn't live here. He's a swimmer, of course, because she's a swimmer, and that's all she does is swim. So, of course, it would make sense. And, yeah, it's kind of weird. She's never really had an interest in guys before this year. So, I guess I've, I should consider myself lucky, right? 
So anyways, we've got that going on. Uh, we've got one kid up pole vaulting. The other kid is upstairs. She might start singing. She's been singing up there, so I don't know. Hopefully she doesn't because she likes to sing loud, and that might be a little disruptive, right? Okay, so doing some little housekeeping things. Let me get my little list down here. I've got the host code that I'll be sticking down on the table so you guys can see that. So everybody who orders from me this week and uses the host code, no matter what your order size is, I'm going to put you in the drawing for this Bokeh Dots stamp set. It's amazing and you're going to love it. So everybody who orders will get their name in a drawing for this. If your order happens to be $40 or more, you will get a little package of these glittery enamel dots that I will mail to you um, next month or maybe this month because I have a few packages. Um, so you'll want to use my host code when you order. And of course, uh, right now I am... Uh, all the orders are going into the Barb Needs New Glasses Fund, so because I still have these lovely duct tape glasses that have been duct taped since March. I honestly cannot believe I'm still wearing duct tape glasses that have been broken for six months, but or it's like nine months. Oh my gosh, that's even worse. But like I've told you guys, kids always need stuff and kids always come first, so I always have to sacrifice myself so I don't get new glasses, so... Maybe that's what I'll ask for for Christmas, a bunch of like Visa gift cards from all my friends or my relatives and say, can the Barb's new glasses fund. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, okay, so we've got that. So order, get the free stuff, and possibly win yourself the, hold up again, because it's so amazing. Okay, dots, stamp set, yeah. Okay, didn't announce, I did announce last week's winner. I do have my next online class with the Serene Garden coming up on December 14th. Here is a card that I just whipped up uh, using it. So it's got this fun corner um, piece here with it, this cute little die cut butterfly. Here's a card I made a I actually made this for a swap it on stage. This has the bird here that's in the stamp set. So here's the stamp set. Fun, fun, fun. And then it does have a coordinating set of dies. Die set. And here are some of the things the dies do. We've got this big piece here where I've stamped the image and then you can die cut out the leaves, put another color behind it, which is really cool. We've got the flower, the flower, the flower, a little butterfly and a bird. It also has an embossing piece. I hope you guys can see this that embosses this really cool um, image right here. And then again, here's the embossed and cut. Mm, maybe you can barely see that. Anyway, so that class is gonna be released on December 14th. Online version of it is $20, or you can buy a bundle of products that I'm going to put together and you can get the class for free. So yeah. Um, also the Stamparatus bag. Um, I did order mine yesterday, so I don't have it to show you, but I have these really awesome computer printouts. Uh, so you can see how amazing it is and it fits your Stamparatus and so if you have a Stamparatus you probably might want to keep everything together in this fun little bag because of course why would you not want to do that okay also I also wanted to say this is one of our stamp sets for celebration it's called so happy together and it's so cute look at these little frogs and this is a little thing I'm doing some swaps and this is my cute little frog isn't he cute I know right he's adorable so this is the first step of my swap, so I'll be showing you that at some other point in time. Okay, um, I think, oh, I was looking at my iPad and I thought, am I hearing myself twice? No, nobody wants to hear that twice, but I'm not, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to get that stuff out of the way. Oh, I am hearing myself twice. Volume off. Ah. Okay, so I think... I'm done with all my blah 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 because that's you know what you do in the beginning of these Facebook lives you give everybody all this information but I'm going to flip the camera down and I'm going to show you I never showed you all the cards or all the projects that we got to make while we were at on stage in Florida and I do have those here and I want to show those to you plus I have a few gift card holders here that we're not making today that I have made in years past but I did want to show you just because well, because it's gift card day and they're awesome so let's see if we can get this switched and, you know, I totally forgot to get this set up before I went live. So now you're going to have to bear with me while I actually get it set up. Whoops, this way. Oh, so sorry. And we're going to pull this out a little bit so you can actually see a little bit better. Ugh. I was talking to my daughter. Oh. <laughs> iPad down. Okay. Let's go like so, and we'll see how that's going to work. Okay, so here's my broken glasses. Get those on. 
And then here are the projects that we made at OnStage. So they gave us um, like a little package of uh, supplies and then they gave us this cute little uh, thing here to show us what the card's supposed to look like. So here's the super cute little um, note card that we have. Um, I don't know what these things are called. I should have looked it up before I got on here and now I'm embarrassed. But anyway, they, the cards just fit in these cute little envelopes just like that. And actually, this could totally be a gift card holder, right? Yes, a gift card would totally fit in there. So anyways, just got some little greetings on there, cute little cake. And this is a new stamp set that's coming out in December. So put that aside there. Here's another one that we made. Look at the detail on this. Um, this is a die and it just kind of does stitching into your paper, which is super cool. And then we have some patterned paper, some stamping, some fun thread and some cute little flowers. So that one was a fun one also. This is another one. This is kind of a Valentine-y set that we have coming out that I'm actually using one die out of this set today. But this has a lot of fun little die cuts, little sprigs and whatnot, some of that fun ribbon. And then we have a two-step stamp um, that kind of finishes that off. So there you go. Hello, Sue, and hello, Teresa. Thank you guys for joining me, and thank you for sharing. Here's one that uses our Memories and More note cards and envelopes. So this is a little bit different size. Let me get a ruler out here, and I can tell you what size this is. So this card is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And we do have envelopes that um, coordinate with these cards. You can see they have the same color in them, so that's really fun. So these are gonna also be in the catalog. And then you can see we have all these enamel dots that we stuck on this and some patterned paper. Oh yeah, so fun. Then we have the, hmm, what's it called? Geared Up Garage, I think, is the suite. It's the man suite. We always gotta have some man stuff. And we made this cute little pizza box with the Geared Up Garage and the paper and then some of the dies that are in the set. And so that was another little fun thing that we got to make. So those were our make and takes in Florida. I'm gonna pick my iPad up off the floor because that's kind of bothering me that I dropped it. <laughs> Thankfully the screen didn't break because that would have really made me sad. Okay, so now we're gonna look at some gift card holders that I have made in years past. So this one here is almost like a regular sized card but you use the full 11 inches of the paper and then you just like score it and half score it again and then you can just slide a card uh, gift card right in there you just tuck that in there so that's a fun one this is one that i do have a standalone video on on my youtube channel so if you're watching this on youtube when i do the replay i will link it for you up here and this is kind of cool because as you open this up the gift card slides out or the cash slides out or a treat slides out so that's kind of fun this is one that I made a long, a long time ago when we sold a large square scallop die. And so I was able to make it into a rectangle. And then this is kind of like a little matchbook. And then you can slide your gift card in there. I mean, there are just a million gift card holders, you guys, that you can make uh, for this time of year or any time of year, birthdays, Valentine's Day, whatever. And this was another funky little die we had, but you wouldn't have to have this element up here. You could just cut it. You, know, you could just cut your cardstock. And then when you open it up, this little guy kind of pops up. And the gift card is uh, in between these two folded pieces of paper. So I was going to, I debated on doing this one, but there was another one that I wanted to do more. And then this is just using one of our old style um, paper bags. This year we have the striped white and gold bags. You could do the same thing with. You just literally fold the bag up, add something to the front of it, and then you can drop your gift card down in here. And then you could put like a card card in here. So those are just a few that I found that I've done in the past few years that I thought you guys might find interesting. So now let's get to the ones that we're actually gonna make today. Okay, so this first one was inspired by something I found in my Christmas box. This is a pillow box and we did used to sell this die. We don't anymore, but the theme of the Santa was what I wanted to do. So I decided I'm gonna use my envelope punch board. So I'm gonna make the smallest envelope on here, which is perfect for a gift card. And I'm also using the punch out of this punch box that we have in the big catalog. It's a gorgeous metal box. And it comes with a stamp set, a clear block, two ink spots, and then the punch. So here's the style of punch. And we're actually gonna use the punch for Santa's belt because I thought that was kind of fun. And just as an FYI, we have our Christmas traditions punch box on the year-end clearance sale right now. 
and it's 40% off. So the Christmas box is normally $45. It's on sale for $27 right now. It's red. It's got a super cute Christmas theme. I actually posted about it on my blog this morning at barbstamps.com. So you can check that out if you want to see what the box looks like. Because I don't actually have it. But for $27, I think I might have to. Okay. So we are also going to be using... Let me get some of my stuff out of here. This designer series paper, which is called All Is Bright. And here are some of the six by six pieces of this paper. We're actually using this one here because it's red. So of course, Santa's suit is red. So here is the one side of the papers. Flip that over. Here is the other side of the papers. So super fun, really like real life photos here of real life stuff, which I find really, really fun. So we're using that piece. Oh, I just put it away. <laughs> then I'm going to be wondering, what the heck? Where's my piece of paper? Which one is it? This one here. Okay. So we're using that piece of paper. And we've got our gift card here. And we've got a few little punched out pieces. And so this piece actually needs to be five by five. So if you look at your envelope punch board, it tells you. I want to make a gift card size envelope, so which is a two by three and a half size, and it says you need your paper to be five by five. So I'm going to cut that really quick over here on my trimmer to five by five, and then we can start. Okay, then we have the scoring tool right here. So then it also tells me that I'm going to start my scoring at two inches. So I'm going to slide my paper over here to two inches. And then I take my uh, scoring tool and I just score along in that groove that's right there on the tool for me. And I punch. Okay. Then I rotate it. And now I'm going to line it up on the score line that I just made. Okay. And I'm going to score right there on that. And we're going to punch. Rotate it again. Line it up on that score line. Do the scoring. And you don't have to do it twice. I just, I don't kind of weird like that. I like to. And then we're going to line it up on that last score line and get that last line done. And here we have our fun little envelope that already has, it's all scored and everything for me. Here's those little pieces. And then we can just fold this together. So the inside's going to be pretty and the outside's going to be really fun. So we'll just fold those in, fold that up. And now you can see that these two long pieces have points on them. Well, we can just round those right off by using this reverse punch up here on the punch board and we get corner rounders. So that's really fun. Oh, Teresa said she's happy that I demonstrated the punch board. You are so welcome, Teresa. Okay, and then we will fold that down and then our cute little gift card will fit right inside there. Perfect. And then we can just decorate the front. So. I'm going to start out by using, we sell these black foil sheets and I thought they would be awesome for Santa's belt. So I did go ahead and cut myself the pieces already. You can see how shiny it is. Very exciting. So we've got some black foil here and I'm just going to, this is just going to lay here and I can't decide. When I was messing around with it today, I was like, do I want to have it be this way, you know, so that Santa's suit is long, which might actually be better. We'll see. So then I did take this punch here from the punch box and I punched out a piece of our silver glimmer paper, super sparkly. And that's going to be part of our belt. And then this little guy here is also, whoops, is that too big? Or is it supposed to be this piece? What did I do here? It's this one, I think. And then that would go right in the center. So that would be our buckle. And then I used one, my half inch circle punch here and I got some buttons. So I thought we could just add the buttons like right here. So we would have a cute little Santa suit. So I think I am going to do it like that. So the first thing we're going to do is, I don't know, maybe I should trim it because I don't want to get too much glue on here. We'll trim it a little, maybe not perfectly, but at least so I don't get excess glue so it squirts out all over the place because I've been known to do that. Okay. So while I am assembling this, 
what do you guys bake for Christmas treats? I'm always looking for something new. I mean, we all have our, you know, standbys that we do all the time every year because everybody likes them. But I also like to think that I could make something different. So give me some ideas. What do you guys make as Christmas treats this time of year? I'll tell you what I usually make. I make cutout sugar cookies um, because my husband is a huge fan of cutout sugar cookies. And he's a huge fan of cutout sugar cookies with icing, not frosting. So we have to do icing at our house, which is fun. Hello, Tanya. How are you? Claudia, thank you. So I'm going to be making some cutout sugar cookies. I'm also going to be making some ooh, cream cheese Danish. Are you kidding me right now? That sounds absolutely delicious. Diana makes cream cheese Danishes. So let's all go to Diana's house because cream cheese Danishes are one of my favorite things. I think I may have to use some different glue. I don't know if this is going to work. Pressing it on there. We'll see. Nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to rub that glue off and we're going to use dimensionals. Okay, because glimmer paper sometimes is a sticker, a stinker, and it doesn't like, it doesn't like you if you don't use dimensionals to adhere things to it, so... We're going to try that. And this is sliding all over the place. Boy, I'm having a mess here, am I not? Okay. Then we have our cute little dots. Maybe we'll just use some glue dots on these buttons, not dots. So I'm just going to press each one of these into a glue dot, like so. And then we'll just set them on here and hope they resemble a Santa suit. What else do we have? Pecan pie brownies. Ooh, Jerry, that does sound delicious. I may have to try that too. We'll see. Tanya makes soft ginger cookies. Ooh, you know what? I make those too, Tanya. Those are so delicious. I call them molasses cookies, but I'm sure it's the same thing because they have ginger and cloves in them. So, you know, yeah. All right, guys, so here is project number one. And then you could just tack this down with a glue dot down there and then the person kick it into it. And you could actually add this to another card if you want. You could custom make another envelope with the envelope punch board that's a little bit bigger than this that you could put it in to gift it out. So super cute. I'm glad that you guys like it. I thought it was kind of cute too. So remember to share the video because somebody's going to win that along with the, the rest of the things that we're going to make here. So let me kind of clean up. You know how I am. I do like my work area clean, so I do try to keep it clean, as clean as we can. All right. Next, we're going to do, oh, which one? Yeah, we'll do this one. Okay. So to start out with, where is my paper? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I've got a piece of a blueberry bushel. And it measures 10 inches the long way and three and a quarter inches. Oh, Julie, even though you missed it, you can always rewatch it after I'm done. I always post it to my Facebook page and then I always upload it to YouTube as well. So, yeah. Okay, so what did I say? I lost my train of thought. Three and a quarter by 10. And then I stuck it into my Stampin' Trimmer and I scored it at four and eight. Okay, so then this is going to fold up this little shorty here and we're going to add a tiny bit of glue on both edges near the edge because I need room for my gift card to fit in there. And we're just going to fold that up and press it into place. Okay, so we've got that done. Perfect. Okay, so we are done with this piece for the moment. Then we need a piece that measures what? Okay, so then this one, this is kind of like a band. This is a seven and a half by like three and a half. And I've already done this. So then I scored it at three and a half and seven. Okay, so it was seven and a half, score at three and a half, seven, and it's three, did I say three and a half? Three and three quarters, three and a half inches wide. Okay, then I also used one of my oval framelits and I cut out a circle 
in the panel that's close to um, the short side, okay? Now you might be looking at this really cute decorative edge I have on here and you're probably saying to yourself, Barb, where did that come from? I'm gonna show you. So, like I said, we have some new items coming out in the Occasions catalog. This is one of those items. This is the Forever Lovely Bundle. It comes with this super cute stamp set that I showed you a card from earlier. And here's another card that I just made for a swap. Um, so it's got this fun detailed um, die. And so I'm gonna whip out the dies here and just show you all the different things. Oh, whoops, this is the wrong card. It's an amazing card though, but it doesn't go with this. It doesn't go with this. These are two separate sets. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me get my catalog. I can't show you the catalog, but I can see what I'm doing, which is not doing the right way. Okay, well anyways, there's a whole suite of products and there's two sets of dies and two stamp sets. <laughs> anyway, this is the die set that I did use. Oh my gosh, come on, Barb. So this die set actually has, oh yes, I did, I did bring the right card. Gosh, you know, I just didn't know it. So here it's got this long skinny die here that cuts this really fun decorative edge, which is awesome. And then it has a die that cuts out this little heart image. So you can actually cut it out, you know, in two different colors. Super cool. Um, it also has numerous hearts. So it's got like this heart, this heart that comes out of this heart, this large heart here, the same thing, it comes out. And it's got all these fun, fun stitching. It's got this little heart here. It's got this fun rose image, this little border piece, this little kind of bow topper thing. Plus, it also has like straight hearts. So it's got like four of these long straight hearts. One of them is stitched. And then this super fun detailed heart here. So that's where I got the die, this long skinny die here that I did on the bottom of this piece, okay? So all that to tell you, move my chair before I trip over it, that that's what I did on the bottom of this. So, But you could do anything you want or you could do nothing and you could leave it plain. It would be totally fine. So we are gonna stamp a little bit on this. So I need a scratch piece of paper so I don't make a mess. And I need my two colors of ink. I've got the balmy blue and the blueberry bushel. Okay. And I've got some stamps from the Snowflake Sentiments stamp set. So I've got three stamps here. This one, this one, and this one. Uh, they're kind of, it's a, it's a snowflake set. Plus it has some really, really nice sentiments. And I just love the fonts of these sentiments also. So that's really nice. Okay, so we are going to do some random stamping with this. So I'm just going to kind of just ink it up in my blueberry bushel and then just randomly stamp it. And I like to say that I like random stamping better than purposeful stamping, if that's even a word, which I'm sure it's not. But I like that better because it just, I just find it just gives a more realistic look to something, okay? All right, let's get that. And if you are wondering how I was able to get these fancy stamps so early, let me just tell you, because I'm a demonstrator, we get to order stuff early. So hint, hint, if you'd like to order stuff early, you can join my team right now and you can order everything that I can order. Um, and you can have a bunch of new stuff. And we are also earning celebration items right now with our pre-orders. So there's another little hint. And you can get all the sign-up information on my blog at barbstamps.com. There's a link at the top of the page that says join my team. So if you're interested in that, I would love to have you. We have lots of fun. We have... Uh, we get together at onstage events. We have a team Facebook page and some other fun things. Okay, so we've got the stamping of this piece done. So I'm going to move these out of the way so I don't touch them and get ink on my hands. Okay, I also need a scrap of white, which thankfully my paper is right here next to me. And I don't really see a scrap, so we're just going to have to go with the whole sheet, which is totally fine. Okay, so we'll bring in a sheet of white. And then I also have another stamp set for my sentiment, because I like this. This is a new one in the holiday catalog right now. And so we're going to use the Mary image and the uh, Christmas image, okay? And so the Mary is really fun and kind of scrolly, which I think is really neat. And so we're just going to stamp Mary like that. 
and then Christmas in the balmy blue oh, kind of underneath it but touching it a little bit okay put these away also then I will take that over to my big shot machine and I would cut it out with one of my oval framelits, which I think it's number four. If you start in the middle and go out with the middle being number one, this I believe is number four. Okay, so now I think we can put this together. Close that up. All right, so we are going to fold that down and then we're gonna fold this over. Whoops, I need my bone folder here. Where is a bone folder? Here we go. So we're going to get a nice crisp fold there and a crisp fold there. And then I'm just going to add glue to this little um, edge piece here and glue this little band thing together. Okay. Press that down. And then this little guy is going to slide in here. Okay, like so. And you want to get it so it's about even from the top to the bottom ish, as even as you can kind of get it. And then we're just going to drop this inside there. Okay, add a little bit of glue there. And you want to make sure that it's kind of where you want it because when you stick it in there, you, then that's where it's going to be. Okay, if I can get a grip on it here, this would be great. Hello, Sue. How are you? Okay, and then you're just going to drop this right in there like so. Okay, and then you can bring that out, press that into place. And I need some ribbon. Ooh, maybe this. Maybe some polka dot ribbon. Let's see. Okay, so we would have this. The gift card is going to go right inside here. Where is my gift card? You guys are going to laugh. All my gift cards are like Starbucks cards. Can you tell that I like Starbucks? And the funny thing is, is I don't drink coffee, but I love their Frappuccinos. And so I go there and get Frappuccinos all the time. My daughter kind of told me about that. All right, let's see. Is this going to look okay? Polka dot ribbon on here? I don't know. No, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm changing my mind. It's my card. I can do what I want, right? I'm changing my mind because I already had something in mind and then I forgot. And now I just remembered again. So along with this stamp set here, there is a set of dies that coordinates with it called the Swirly Snowflakes Thinlets Dies. And it's got some fun little snowflake dies in here and a little swirly thing. And so I did cut some of these out. And I actually cut them out of silver foil sheets. And I think that I might want to add some silver foil here. Silver foil pieces. Instead of adding the ribbon. I think I'm going to do that. That's going to give it some bling. So we're just going to take a little bit of glue here. Whoops, is the glue even coming out? I'm blind and I can't see. I think. I think it's coming out. So we'll just add this to the middle of the snowflake. I don't think I need a whole lot of glue. Maybe like that. And then this one we'll add. So foil sheets are really awesome for Christmas. Tanya likes Starbucks hot chocolate. I bet that's really good too. Okay, so then I thought this would be kind of fun to take some of our frosted and clear epoxy droplets move those out of the way and we can color them with our Stampin' Blends markers and make them any color we want. So I took my dark one and I colored that little guy and I'm going to use my take your pick tool to pick that up and add that to those. So let me color some more of these, two more. And I'm just using the brush tip I don't know, can you guys even see what I'm doing? Does this even help? Is this helpful to even see what I'm doing? I'm just literally rubbing this brush tip around this thing and getting ink on it. And they dry pretty quickly. I'll blow on them really just to make sure that they do dry. Well, I guess I can 
put some of this stuff away while we're drying that off. And I didn't see, does anybody else have a favorite thing that they bake for Christmas? We've got some pecan pie brownies. We've got some delicious cheese danishes. What else did someone say that they made? Oh my gosh, I'm old and can't remember. Those are the only two things I remember right now at the top of my head. Somebody refresh my memory or somebody give me something else. Okay, there, now it's done. I do like adding the... Uh, foil sheets and then the little bit of blue bling on there super cute and you could if you wanted to you could tuck a little note under there or you could put a white panel in here and write a little note you know just kind of whatever you think you might want to do to jazz that up a little bit so there we have it so thank you guys I hope you liked that we have one more thing to show you and this one is kind of my favorite thing so I hope you guys like it I'm gonna put these little guys back in their package so that I don't end up losing them I'll put these little die cuts back in here so that I can use them on something else. Pecan twisted crescent rolls. Ooh, peppermint mocha. But see, mocha probably has coffee in it. Doesn't mocha mean coffee? I'm not a fan of coffee. I love, love, love how coffee smells, but I just cannot stand how it tastes. To me, it is just so yucky. And so I just can't drink it. So I found other things to uh, drink at Starbucks. Okay, here we go with our last item here. Thank you, Bridget. I thought it was kind of pretty myself. So, and remember guys, share the video because someone's going to win this along with the other thing that I made earlier. Where is it? The Santa Claus gift card holder. So, so far we've got two. Now we've got kind of a gift card holder present thing. And we're going to start off with a piece of mint macaron cardstock, and this measures nine and three quarters by six and three quarters. Okay, we're going to score it. This will be my Stampin' Trimmer, and we're going to score it at uh, one inch. Is this right? No, this way. One inch from each side here. Okay, flip it around. And I, I've told you guys this before, but some of you may be new. I always, for small measurements, I use the right side of the blade when I'm doing this. Can't drink hot chocolate after having mochas. <laughs> Ooh, haystacks, Trudy. That sounds delicious. Peanut butter blossoms. Yes. Okay, then we're going to slide that in and we're going to score it at... I think it's two and three quarters. Yes, two and three quarters and then five and a quarter. So we're gonna go two and three quarters, which is right here. Five and one quarter. And of course, I'll put all these uh, measurements on my blog when I post this here, uh, hopefully in a couple of days, we'll see what happens. And so five and a quarter, six and a quarter, seven and a quarter, eight and a quarter and finally nine and one quarter okay okay so i've got a whole bunch of score lines down here and not very many score lines up here so now that i've gotten this all scored i'm going to put this in the trimmer and i'm going to trim off this piece here these two large sections so i'm just going to put that back in at one inch Okay, and then I'm going to use my cutting blade and I'm going to cut down to like five and a quarter on both of these uh, score lines here. And five and a quarter is about right there. Okay, then I'm going to trim this off right there. Oops, I thought I lifted up my blade a little bit. Ding dong. All right, and then that cut that off there. So now I don't need this anymore. Okay, so we had our big piece. Now we've got these two pieces cut off. And I'm going to fix this edge here. Pulled up my blade and it kind of messed it all up. Okay. So then we've got these two tiny little corners here that we're going to get rid of. And I do like to kind of cut at a slight angle when I'm doing this. There we go. And then I'm going to cut in on these score lines as well. Again, just a slight, slight, tiny little angle. 
So I'm taking out a little tiny triangular piece here. Okay. And we're going to come over here and do this side as well. Tiny little triangles again. Okay. There we go. Oh, get out of there, you little triangle. Okay. So now we have this. All of our little pieces are cut. These are cut off. This is cut off. And now we can uh, start assembling this guy. Oh, no, we know. We can't. First, we have to stamp it. We must stamp first. Okay. So here's that scrap paper again. I'm going to bring that in. And I'm going to bring in my Nick Macaron ink, which is right here. And I have this Peaceful Point set of stamp set, and I'm going to use this kind of long holly berry image here. Here, that is right here. Okay, and so I'm going to just stamp this. Well, you know what I might do first? I might actually uh, do my punching. So I'm going to fold up this skinny little flap here at the bottom, okay? And then I'm going to bring in my classic label punch, which is going to make a little window. So I want my window in the second panel, okay? So I've got one inch, I've got four one inch panels here. I want my window to be in my second panel. So I'm going to slide this into the paper and I'm going to line it up with the edge of my punch to the edge of that one score line there. And I'm going to try to have it so it's in the center of this one inch panel. Okay, I think that looks about even. And then I'm going to slide it over so this edge of the punch is at this score line here. Again, keeping it in the middle. And we're going to clip off. So now we have a window in that piece, okay? So then we can do our stamping. So this is the, ah, good thing I have one that I already did. But this is basically what I'm going to do without having the fudge mark there, okay? Is I'm just going to randomly stamp this image like this all the way across the whole thing. Just re-inking it each time. And then, and I'm not being perfect with it. I mean, I'm being semi, I'm trying to be sort of perfect, but it's not perfect by any means. And when it's all folded up and gifted to somebody, no one's going to know if I didn't get this perfect, okay? So you're going to do this all the way down. And you can do whatever. You can stamp it with whatever you want, okay? And so here it is all done without a big blob of ink on it because, honestly, that's ridiculous. Who would give that? Just kidding. Okay. So we have this done here. Now I need a little window sheet. And I forgot it, so now I have to run into my window sheet room and find myself a window sheet. Okay. It's not really my window sheet room. It's just my bathroom, but it has a lot of um, my paper products in there. So I'm going to, I got my window sheet here. I'm going to cut off a little strip to cover up the window that I just made. All right. So we're going to make it a little less than an inch. Whoa. I'm on Facebook Live right now! That would be my husband. Apparently he's home now. And you can see that I actually did this on the inside too. Okay, so this is a little less than an inch. And we're just going to cut it so it's the... Okay, and then we are going to add some snail. Okay around the edge here and I'm going to bring in my, see I first did it in the sh um, shaded spruce but I thought that was too dark and I really thought the mint macaron looked a lot better. So we're going to go with the mint macaron. Okay, so I'm going to add some snail on the inside here and I've got my silicone mat there so that in case I go inside the window it's not going to get outside of my project. Okay. So I'm just going to put this little window sheet, oops, come up right there. Okay, so now we have a little window on the outside. So now we can fold this up. We're going to fold the top piece down. I know this is so distracting having that stuff there. And then this is going to go like this. So then we also need to take a one inch circle punch 
and punch it about halfway in because we need like a thumb hole so we can get the gift card out of there, okay? So we're going to add some glue to this edge here. And we're going to glue this piece down. And that way... There's my gift card. Hello, where are you? When, we're all, when it's all said and done, the gift card's just going to slide in here like that and it'll come out. Okay, so then we can also add a little bit of glue on this edge here. Just a tiny bit, just to kind of tack that down. Okay, and then we can fold this up, add our adhesive here. And you can use tear and tape. I wouldn't use snail necessarily, but you could use tear and tape if that's um, the kind of adhesive that you like. And then we're just going to fold this up so that this meets this edge right here. Okay. This needs to come up just a tad. Okay. So like that. Actually, we could have just folded it flat. So that'll work too. You can just fold it flat and then that'll hook onto that. Then we want to close up this side. So I'm going to take the top two and then the back one's going to come in. Just a little bit too much glue there. And then that piece is going to go over. Ugh. Now I have glue on my hands. Sorry, guys. Okay. And then we have that folded like that. And then I have some Hershey's Kisses here. They're gold. The almond ones. Those are my favorites. Well, I guess that's not entirely true. I also really like the ones with caramel in the middle too. Okay, so we're going to slide the kisses in there, but first I want to add a little decorative piece here. So I've got my candy cane season stamp set here, and I've got the um, open image and then the solid image here. So let me get uh, another scrap of paper. Oh, I'll just use that same one that I used for the sentiment on that other card. Oh, I'm getting a mess going on here. I'm getting a little claustrophobic. Okay, so we've got our cherry cobbler ink here. Blocks. Okay, so here's the solid, there's the stripe. And I find that if I, I think this is how I do it, I do my uh, open image first. Okay, then I can take this one. Thank you for sharing, Sandra. I appreciate that. Jean, thank you. Okay, and then what I like to do is I just kind of hover this over the, and normally I can do it straight on, but I'm not quite straight on right now because my camera's in my straight on view. All right, so we've got that. Ha, huh, look at that, I did pretty good. So then I would take my candy cane punch slide that up in here and we would punch this out okay but oh I have another one but we'll just keep going here okay so then we also need a bow oh I need my paper back and we need the mint macaron and we need some shaded spruce because we need a bow and we're going to do it over here. So I've got the two bow images. So we've got, oh, wrong stamp set. My container, here we go. So we've got the solid bow and then the detailed bow. So I'm going to do the solid or the detailed bow I'm going to do in shaded spruce. Stamp that. And then I've got the solid bow and I'm going to ink it up in the mint macaron. And again, you would go over the top. Ugh, if you were straight over the top of it, it would work better. Ugh, actually, that did work pretty dang good. I'm quite impressed with myself looking at it from an angle. Okay, so then we would just cut this out. Well, I'm not going to cut it out with scissors, but my piece of paper is too big. Okay, so you want to bring it in from the side. And then we'll just give ourselves this cute little bow. And the bow is going to go onto the candy cane like this, because that's super cute. And I already have some done, but I wanted to ask you guys what you think. 
Okay, so the candy cane image is going to go right on the top here. Okay, now this obviously is shaded spruce with a cherry cobbler um, scallop circle. This is a shaded spruce circle with a mint macaron um, other circle. So I don't know what looks better. That one? So we'll call this dark. So dark one or the light one? Oh, I gotta go with the dark, I think. What do you guys think? Does everybody agree with me? Dark, light. Dark, light. What do you guys think? My personal thought is I like the dark better. I'm not seeing anybody commenting, so maybe you guys are agreeing with me that the dark is better. So, oh yay, Debbie says dark. Okay, Debbie, me and you, we're going dark. Oh, Beth says dark. Okay, they're coming in now. Teresa says it's cute. Linda says light. Oh, shoot. Lisa says dark. Janine says light. Julie says both. Bridget says dark. Sue says dark. So mostly, Teresa says dark. Okay, we're going to go dark, because I do think that's, I think it's cuter. I like it. Okay, so there we have our little dark. Then our gift card's going to slide right in here, like that. And then, now we're going to slide in the candy. So if you just slide these in, hopefully they, whoops, that did not slide in very well. It tipped over. Whoops, and now it fell on the floor. Ah! Try to keep our wits about us here and make them all line up the way they're supposed to. Get the one off the floor. Good thing it's in a wrapper because it could, it's still good. We can still eat it. Okay. And then we'll bring in the top and the bottom and then the back. And then we will glue that over. Why did that not close very nicely? Do I have... Some, oh, I have that window sheet sticking out, but I couldn't see it. Okay, sorry, I had to cut that off because that was not going to work for me at all. Okay. Oh, look what I just did. I just pushed those inside. <laughs> well, whoever wins this next week is going to win one that I'm going to stamp up super nice that isn't going to be... A gigantic mess okay but you guys get the gist of it it's so cute you could put whatever you want you could put any candy in there you could put you know you could not even have a window and you could just put in like a lipstick lip gloss you could wrap up a necklace and some tissue paper and stick that in there you could literally put anything in there and of course the gift card and then if you want you can add a panel back here let's see where's my ruler here we go that would need to be like four and a half by three and a quarter you could put a piece of white and you could write a message stamp another sentiment something like that whatever you want to do so here are our three gift card holders oh no that's not it that's the one that I was inspired to do that's not the one we're doing so here's our three gift card holders guys Thank you so much for watching this Facebook live it was a little scattered at times and I apologize for that but thank you so much you could slip lip, yes, you could slip a lip balm in there. Um, I would appreciate your orders at shoppingwithbarb.com. Remember that everyone who orders this week and uses my host code is going to go into the drawing for the Bokeh Dots stamp set. Plus, if you happen to order and use the host code and your order is over $40, you're going to get some glitter dots as well. And here's the host code. I totally didn't have that in throughout the entire video. So ding dong me. But anyways, you can always go to barbstamps.com, find the host code, and then do your shopping at shoppingwithbarb.com. Thank you guys for the love. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. And I hope you guys have a great day. Next week, I don't know what I'm going to do. We might do candy treats. I don't know. We'll see. Because sometimes people want to give some candy treats. So anyways, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next week. Same place, same time. Bye-bye.